Good evening once again friends. Today I have a problem with my desktop computer. I use it for my customers here at my cyber cafe. And the problem with it, as I will uh, show here, it takes quite a bit to boot. And I suspect it could be the problem with a hard disk drive that uh, could be on its way out. It is an old hard drive. Well, luckily, I don't have any sensitive data, any important data on it. It was just a, a Windows installation for browsing here and there and doing documents for clients. And so today, I have something for it so that it can be a bit faster. And as it boots, we have a package here that arrived by Courier Guardian Coach which we shall shortly uh, open and unbox so that we remedy the situation. It, is, uh, it has been quite annoying. Sometimes you have a client who would like to do one or two things and maybe they are pressed with time and uh, if the machine takes quite some time to boot, you know, could be embarrassing. And so we would like to have good machines for our clients so for this particular desktop uh, today it's decided to behave a little bit but uh, let's continue and see how long it takes it's now around uh, 1 minute 45 seconds into the video and uh, that is real time I am not uh, speeding it up so let's see How long does it take to get to the desktop? If this is going to take uh, much time, then I'll uh, do a speed up of it. Oh, there it is. But uh, not yet loaded the icons on the desktop. There they are. That is 2 minutes and 24 seconds. Now, I believe what we are going to do today will uh, improve the situation quite a bit and so fingers crossed let's see what happens now to our package I will uh, cut the bag get inside and then I'll uh, bring you back there we are with the help of Mr. Scissors and our box cutter uh, explaining computers I'm looking at you we are inside our package and uh, if I could use one hand, there we are, very nicely wrapped. I will uh, proceed to cut the bubble wrap to get inside, but that is quite a good job from my supplier. So once again, with uh, the help of box cutter and Mr. Scissors, we are now inside. And uh, after several layers of bubble wrap, very good protection for the, voila, wrong way up, 2.5 inch solid state drives, transcend, that is a SATA, 6 gigabit per second, we, there it is, we have two solid state drives, the capacity is, uh, where is it? The capacity is 128 GB. I believe you can see it. TS128G SSD. So that is to mean we have 128 gigabit, gigabyte sorry, SSDs. Now I intend to use them purely. Oh, this one is Samsung. I intend to use them purely as uh, boot drives and uh, storage will be uh, let me not spill the beans. We will have a solution for storage in another video. Something nice is coming up. So there we are. We have uh, Samsung and Transcend. Now these are not brand new. These are refurbished. I went the refurbished way for reasons of cost. Again here is another 128 Samsung. So I hope 
they are going to do some uh, good job with improving our boot time situations on our comp here. Now next, I would like to shut my computer down. Then uh, it will be a matter of opening up the system unit, putting in the SSD, and then using my laptop here, I'll prepare the flash disk uh, with which I will now install the operating system. Here is my flash disk, 16 GB advance. With the system unit open, uh, it's time to now replace the hard drive. You can see it here, hanging precariously. Yeah, and the fan running. I think the system could use some cleaning. But that is it. Uh, we shall do that some other time. Uh, straight to the business of the day. I will hold the power button to turn it off. I'll unplug my power and then proceed to try with one hand and decommission our old hard drive. Our power gone, the SATA gone. Uh, the nation thanks you for your great service. See you later. Out with the old and in with the new. Do we do Samsung? Or do we do Transcend? Maybe you could take a vote. I think I'll go with Samsung for the desktop. And uh, standard SATA. So let me do the connection and we'll be back. So there we are. Samsung is connected. And uh, now back to our laptop. And I would like to get my installation media prepared. Uh, for this installation, I'll be wanting to run Windows 10 Lite. I've read about it online and uh, how that it can be quite a bit faster, having been uh, de-bloated. So I want to give it a try on this machine, see if it will be something nice to use here at work. So here we are on our laptop. And I'm using Power ISO to prepare my storage uh, story, my installation media. So I'll come to Tools and come to USB Tools. And I want to do uh, create a bootable USB. And here is where we select our ISO image. And it is in uh, local disk D, new volume D, Windows, W, sorry. W, there it is, Windows 10 Lite edition, 64 bit. That is our flash disk, 16 GB, and I can uh, start. So this is going to take a bit of time. Of course, everything on the flash disk will be erased. So an important point of information at this point is that if you would, if you have anything important on the flash disk, Please have it backed up. So once I click OK, you can see the process begins and the media is being prepared. Now I'll get us back once uh, this process completes. I believe uh, it's going to take a short time. This normally takes around uh, Depending on the speed of your machine, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, because of the small size of Windows 10 Lite, I believe this is going to take quite a short time. You can see one minute, uh, 45 seconds or less. So I think we can wait through. We are already less than uh, a minute. ETA.
so there it is less than 10 seconds to go and uh, our media will be ready finished there we go so we click ok we close we eject it is safe to remove so now we have uh, an installation media containing windows 10 light edition 64 bit and now we can plug it into our desktop computer ready for the installation just plugged in our flash disk now i'm going to turn on the system unit we have fan spin and on our monitor now I will uh, put my laptop aside back to our system here so let us power on the machine and uh, continue with the installation This is actually the next day and uh, there is something that happened <laughs> the, the machine did not display anything after i had changed you remember the ssd into the system unit and so i decided to sleep over it and uh, coming here in the morning the thing is working well technology sometimes sleep is the fundi Okay, so we have set up starting. I already connected my installation media. And uh, we now come over to our monitor. Let me remove the glare. So coming over to our monitor, we have the usual Windows installation procedure. And now my mouse is not working so we will use our keyboard now the ssd has uh, 119 usable gb and uh, what i would like to do is to delete the partitions create them afresh so that uh, just in case there was uh, any data uh, on the disk because it is a refurbished one i would like to erase all of it so delete as you can see the underlined letter is d so to do that you press alt and d alt and d and you can see on the screen and then come and say okay okay we also delete the other one and delete and now we can allocate new partitions you know the drill so let me proceed with the installation and then bring you back As you can see, the Windows 10 Lite edition is a small one, so the installation is much, much faster. This was about, uh, is it 1.1 GB? Quite a small one. I believe it is going to be a fast computer right after installing this uh, 
edition of Windows. Already at 55% and moving. Of course, I'll link where I downloaded the Windows Lite from in the description just in case you would also like to install it on your machine. Already done at 100%, getting files ready, that's what takes uh, the longest in the process. So the machine will restart and at this point I'm going to unplug my flash disk. So the installation will continue even without the flash disk. to boot as you can see everything is happening very quickly and again f1 for boot just a moment and there we are so I'll go ahead do the usual initial setups here and there accounts passwords and so on and so forth and then I'll bring you back so now there we are the installation finished quite quickly and I would like to show you around and I'm quite impressed now the small size of the windows 10 light edition makes the machine quite responsive it's quite snappy you click and it's there for instance the start menu click and it's there this pc click and it's there you open that and it's there so quite responsive i believe this will be quite impressive for my customers they'll have a better experience coming to enjoy our services so I'm done with the installation of programs and uh, as you can see I have a foxy reader here and uh, very snappy you click and it's there and say yes okay so that's my PDF reader I can check with the office I have 2013 uh, let's open what word it's there you can see it is the first time I'm opening it uh, so it's a very very fast kind of response and I like it so there it is quite fast VLC for medias there it is and so that is it maybe we can uh, also check the boot up time I can perform a restart here uh, restart one let's see how many seconds to restart F1 
that is 28 seconds to restart <laughs> very impressive very impressive very impressive so that is it guys with under 30 seconds of boot up time with the uh, instant response on uh, the applications and files i think this is a good machine now my clients will enjoy so feel free to check out our other videos we will be again posting some more content regularly i believe at the current rate i'll be able to do a video a week feel free to also subscribe cheers and have a good day